hello everyone in this video let us try to understand sending data to the server that is nothing but sending json data to the server here the case is reverse like in our earlier case we were getting a string we are passing it to json object and using it so in this case what we create we create a json object then we pass it to string and send it to the server do remember one thing whatever is passing over the server is a string so while passing it to the server i need to change my json object to string so say for example i have this scenario i'll take this scenario this is a json string i need not to do anything with this why because it is already a string i can simply pass x to the server now how to pass json data to the server and how do we make those calls we will see in our future lectures if it is a string i need not to do anything if it is a json object so this is a json object how do we know that it is a json object i can just access that id x dot id so i have prepared json object now what do i need to do I need to convert this to a string. So how do I convert? I'll convert this with the help of JSON dot stringify method, and I'll pass x, and I can store it in another variable. Again, I'll say k, and I'll simply alert that k. Now k should be a pure string and it should be JSON data, say five. Now you can see that it is JSON data format. We'll have some scenarios where I need to read data from text boxes. Then I need to prepare JSON object for that and convert it into JSON string and pass it to the server. Say for example. I have a text box here, simple text box with ID txt ID and its value is seventy eight. The value that I'm storing in text box, the default value is seventy eight. Its ID ID is txt ID. I want to read that value and prepare object and convert it into JSON string and pass it to the server. So how do I prepare that? instead of giving value directly here i am going to read the value from the text box so value in the text box how do i read hash txt id dot value so i am reading the value from the text box preparing json object then i am stringifying that to json string finally i can pass that to the server Now it should display seventy eight. So we will finally send this k. So this is what we are working with a single variable. If we are working with array, the case is same. Just you remember the process is reverse. What we will have with us is JSON array. what do i need to do i need to say json dot stringify and now k is string you can see that 10 42 39 we will be sending this string to the server now it is the job of server to read that string and convert it into an array that usually in your mvc happens automatically so anyway we do not require to iterate through each and every element as of now here now if you want to manipulate or prepare this array from the form elements then you can do that as well if it is an object how do i do let me comment this out definitely i'll have 
object you can see that x dot I can access ID and name so this is an object now I need to convert it to string I'll say stringify finally I'll alert that string whatever the string I'm alerting this string I need to pass it to the server this is ID is one and name Manzu so these values I can read it from text boxes as well so for example I have one text box as txt ID in the same way I can have another text box as txt name and say its value is Manzur the trainer and I'm not using any event like button click event or all those things that's why I'm giving default values so on button click event I can again call some JavaScript and all those things so as of now to make it simple I have direct access so I'll say dollar of txt ID dot value in the same way name I'm reading from the text box dollar of txt name dot value now I prepare the object then I stringify it now I'll be passing this object to the server So here I get 78 and Manzur the trainer. Okay. Finally, if we have list of object, again it is the same thing, but rarely we find scenarios where we pass list of objects to the server. But even that you can do. We do not require any way iterating through what we have. We have an object. Or you can say list of objects with us. What do we need to do? We need to say JSON dot stringify and I need to pass that string. So let's try to display that string here. What we are going to pass to the server. So we are going to pass this string to the server. So that's it. This is how you work with the data that we are going to send out. That means we are going to send this data to web API or WCF RESTful service or to a controller. That means I'm going to make a call from here. We will see jQuery based Ajax calls using JSON data in our future lectures. That's it for this video. Thank you very much.